Okay, I'll call the meeting to order. I want to open um, very quickly with uh, a note of congratulations from Mayor and Council and all of the City of Coquitlam. Over the past 10 days, many of us has been, have been captivated by the Olympic Games in Sochi, Russia. I'm actually wearing the Olympic tie from back la four years ago when we hosted the Olympics. It's almost as exciting watching the Games uh, from Russia, although the time difference is a bit more exhausting. Certainly brings back fond, fond memories of that, the Games four years ago when we were similarly enthralled when they were happening in our own backyard. And while the 2014 Games are taking place half a world away, they recently had a Coquitlam connection through figure skater Kevin Reynolds. Kevin's long program finished second to help Canada win a silver medal in the team figure skating competition. And in the individual men's competition, he fin finished 15th overall. Kevin, you represented our country and our community, our city, so well on the international stage. We are proud of you, and we know that you'll have many more amazing moments, which are to include a quad or two ahead of you. Congratulations to Kevin and to all the Canadian athletes who are making us proud. We're going to endeavor to have uh, Kevin upon his return, uh, perhaps uh, attend a council meeting as we have in the past, and receive our congratulations in person. In the meantime, we send our congratulations to him over the miles. Thank you. Uh, item one is the minutes of the regular council meeting held Monday, February 3rd. Recommendation to approve. Sorry. Moved by Councillor Asmussen, seconded by Councillor Nicholson. All in favor? Opposed? Carried unanimously. Item two is the minutes of the Riverview Lands Advisory Committee meeting of Tuesday, January 14th. Recommendation to receive. Moved by Councillor O'Neill, seconded by Councillor Sikora. All in favor? Opposed? Carried unanimously. Item of business arising out of that committee's meeting concerns the Riverview Lands Advisory Committee's 2014 work plan. The recommendation from the committee is that count that the Review Lands Advisory Committee work plan be approved. Moved Move by Councillor Sikora, second by Councillor Reed. All in favor? Oppo sorry, it wasn't Councillor Sikora. Councillor <laughs> Councillor Nicholson, uh, seconded by Councillor. You, you're trying to confuse me here. Moved by Councillor Nicholson, seconded by Councillor Reed. All in favor? Opposed? Carried unanimously. Uh, motion to move Councillor Asmussen to a new seat. <laughs> Seating arrangement is at the discretion of the mayor. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Item three is the development variance permit for 341 Laurentian Crescent. This is a continuation of uh, the DVP uh, of this item that was heard on February 3rd. Um, prior to reading the recommendation, I will ask the mayor to resume the call for speakers. Now this is a, a mini public hearing that we run for a development variance permit. We opened that um, public consultation, public input uh, session at the last meeting. We adjourned it, didn't uh, complete it, so we're opening it again. Are there any speakers to this item? Are there any speakers to this item? Are there any further speakers to this item? Seeing none, I'll declare this item. This is the longest item we've ever had open for a development variance permit. After one week, we've declared this item closed. Two weeks, actually. Thank you, Your Worship. Uh, the recommendation from staff is that Council approve the DVP for 341 Laurentian Crescent and that the Mayor and City Clerk be authorized to execute it. Second. Moved by Councillor Asmussen, seconded by Councillor O'Neill. All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Thank you very much for working on that. Best of luck. Next item, item. F <laughs> yeah, if you don't stay till the end, we'll rescind. <laughs> You're quite welcome. Uh, the next item, item four, is, is also a development variance permit. This is the DVP authorization for 635 and 645 Goche Avenue. Um, Prior to reading the recommendation, I would ask the mayor to call for speakers, of which we have one pre-registered. Indeed, we have uh, Jerry Hansen at 341 Laurentian. Oops, wrong one, sorry. I'm on the wrong item already. <laughs> so tender man's back before us, Ms. Mann. Ms. Mann is Archetype Design at 233 West 28th Street in North Vancouver. Please go ahead. Hello. Um, 
So uh, I, I won't go through the whole project again as we uh, saw it a few weeks ago. I just wanted to uh, let you know about uh, the variants that we're applying for uh, for this project. Um, as you know, we have, uh, um, it, you know, we were uh, required or recommended strongly to have the uh, drive through the middle of the two sites. The, uh, driveway which accesses the lane. So um, uh, in our original proposal to the city, we had cited the buildings uh, uh, about a foot away from the statutory right of way for that drive. And uh, engineering felt that uh, because the lane would be used uh, quite often, they wanted more of a setback um, to that lane. And uh, we've already uh, lost quite a bit of, uh, you know, what is a sizable site originally. And uh, the buildings are, are as narrow as we feel comfortable. So uh, in discussions with uh, um, the planning staff, what we came up with was uh, the idea to move the buildings um, closer to the um, side yards, uh, two feet. And so we would have a four foot setback on the outer sides of the two sites and uh, this four foot setback is uh, within the RT1 zoning uh, it is okay for uh, duplexes and single-family homes and so it more or less you know falls within the general zone and uh, so that's the variance that we're applying for and uh, if you have any questions I would be happy to address them okay We haven't. We're not there yet. We're we're still at the. We're we're still at the public hearing. Um, <laughs> yes, but, but but you look really good. <laughs> thank you very much, Ms. Matt. Okay, thank you. Are there any other speakers to this item? Is the development variance permit? Are there any other speakers to this item? Third and final time. Are there any other speakers to this item? Seeing none, I declare this item closed, and I. I accept the motion from Councillor Reed. Uh, seconded by Councillor Nicholson uh, to sign and seal a development permit. Further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? That's carried unanimously. Thank you very much, Ms. Mann. Next item, item five, concerns a pro proposed road and lane cancellation application. This is adjacent to Lee Park at and it's bylaw number 4460. A recommendation from council, uh, from staff, is that council give first, second, and third readings to City of Coquitlam Highway Dedication Cancellation Bylaw 4460 and direct that bylaw 4460 be advertised in accordance with the requirements of the community charter. Second. Moved by Councillor Asmundson, second by Councillor Nicholson. No discussion. The motion is less pavement and more park. All in favor? Opposed? Carried unanimously. Your Worship, that's the last formal item on this agenda. Move <laughs> Councillor Reed wants to add some items to the agenda because we haven't met long enough today. <laughs> Councillor O'Neill moves adjournment, seconded by Councillor Asmundson. All in favor? Opposed? Carried unanimously. Are there any questions on tonight's short agenda? Any questions at all? Any questions at all? It was so clear that you have no questions. Good. Thank you all for coming. Have a good evening and uh, go watch some Olympic Games. <laughs>